I'm Matt Estridge, it's Tier 1 Tactics Tuesday. This week's video, we're gonna talk about more of a law enforcement or military perspective, one person clearing, or if you're a civilian that has to clear their house or any kind of building to get out, or if there's an active shooter and it's nighttime. Or if it's day either one, I wanna show you the 45 degree angle. It's very fundamentally important uh, where most people trigger the room or show themselves too early. Again, to clear it, Clear and safe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Most people will clear one person. They might understand the old pie method and say, well, it's old school and not do it. And, and they kind of just step in here and they kind of do this. Well, as they're clearing this first 90 degrees, right? Up here, I've already given myself away because of my leg. If the bad guy isn't here though, and they're more out there to that 100 or 120 degrees, you're gonna see a line on the floor. A good way to do this is to have somebody flash uh, a flashlight down here and you'll see the line. That line is when you, behind it, you're surreptitious, they don't know it. Past it, they can see you. So you can see if I'm coming through here, right now I'm behind it. And this is the angle I'm talking about, right here. But if I come out here and I'm doing this, then I'm already past it and they can see my foot, they can see my knee, leg, this part of my body. Or if somebody takes it dynamically, single person, because some people are still thinking that speed, surprise, and aggression, which is very important, but they're using it in the incorrect fashion. They would just bolt in here. Well, as you do that, if somebody is already drawn on you, your eyes, your front sight, your gun's not even up and ready to go yet, and they already have you. You wanna make yourself small on the elbows, just draw the gun back. There is some contemplation of people, whether you're a little more of a high ready, you'll see some uh, seals do that and things of that nature, other groups do too. You'll see some just pull it back. Do what you're comfortable with. I'm just gonna pull it back because that's where my normal shooting stance is. I draw straight from here, come up front sight. It's a nice straight plane. You wanna make that gun and your, and your eyes on the same line. So the gun goes with your eyes. So before I'm past this line, I'm gonna be able to have my gun up and on that person. As I'm starting to come around the corner of this angle, right now, I'll shift this over more to my left. It'd be like if you had a long gun instead of switching sides to the left, so handing off, all I have to do is draw it over. This gun can be manipulated any way. As long as you have the fundamentals, you're good to go. So I'm behind this line, as you can see, right here, it's barely behind it. And I'm already around that corner. I already see my objective and the CEO back there with the camera, I can see what I need to on her before she can see me at this point. As I see that, that far shoulder, exactly what I need to see, that, that foot. And then I can step up on the angle all in one motion if I need to address that threat and be on it. All in one motion, comes up right on it. It's absolutely important that you understand not to trigger that room or give yourself up too early in the process. You need to understand how to keep yourself behind and come up all at one motion. When you come up, it's on you, it's your choice, you know when you're doing it, you're not giving yourself away, you're stepping right into that angle, you're not even stepping that far over the angle, you're just stepping right onto it where that person can barely see you some, and you're already ambushing them. You're already beating them to the punch because you're coming up front side on them, all one motion, and you have that quarter second, half second, uh, on them. There's a lot more to this. There's a lot more to the footwork and how you use the body and even how you would actually, you're lining up and you're, you're actually leaning into something. You can get into the point where you're kind of leaning your body in and you're not around that angle yet and you're still kind of, it's kind of a, it's really a high ready, but it's just a little bit below the eyes. You're tucked in and you're getting ready to step into that angle on somebody. There's a lot of ways to make yourself small and not seen depending on different kinds of angles that you're, you're taking. If you want training like this, single person CQB, up to multi-team and how to join that together all in one flow, tier1tactics.com. If you enjoy this type of content, you got some value out of this video, give us a like, subscribe to our social media, tier1tactics.com. Have a great day. God bless. Built from experience, battle proven.